It's not because you didn't do 10,000 affirmations. It's not because you had one opposing thought three weeks ago. It's not because you skipped your scripting or your full moon ritual or anything like that a month or six months ago. See, manifestation is the simplest thing in the world, but because there's so much information out there, it can seem complicated and confusing and like you can't figure out what you're doing wrong. So let me make it simple stupid. It's because of your lack of consistency or as many in the law of assumption community call it, your persistence. And look, like I am super guilty of this too. I mean, let's be real. When we have over 70,000 thoughts per day, it's, impossible and exhausting to monitor every single one. Wouldn't it be great if you could though? <laughs> Put one of those like bark collars on that they use for dogs and you have it on it zaps you every time you have an opposing thought like, oh, I don't have enough money. <laughs> I'm unworthy. <laughs> Did I just come up with my first million dollar idea? Just think about it though. We want to manifest something because we don't have it which means that currently our conscious and our subconscious are wired to think automatically that we don't have it. You might be repeating your affirmations 10,000 times. You might be doing sats every time you go to sleep. You might be scripting for 10 minutes every single night. But how much time does that take up of your day? 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes even? So what's going on in your head the rest of the day. What's going on with your inner conversations? What are you doing when you have a triggering moment? What are you thinking when you have a triggering moment? If you truly want to change the wiring in your brain, you have to do it in real time. You have to learn to catch your reactions in the moment and change the actual reaction. Did your SP not text you back? You say, Wow, my SP always responds to me so quickly. Is your bank account low? I am so grateful to always have $50,000 in my bank account. But these things have to be reacted and thought when that thought originally occurs, when the opposing thought originally happens. The key moments to rewire your brain are during those reactions. And look, when we first start to do this, it's not going to feel natural. It's not going to feel believable. But the trick is, is to continue to do it over and over and over again and create repetition out of it. And then eventually you have less resistance to that thought. You start to believe it more. It starts to feel more natural. And as you get more used to that, you'll have less intruding thoughts. So you'll have less thoughts to correct. And eventually you won't feel that trigger. You won't feel that fear anymore because you've trained your brain, your conscious mind and your subconscious mind not to have that fear anymore, which is why we have all these opposing thoughts anyway. And that's how you know your mind has truly shifted into your desired reality. It's when you stop getting triggered. It's when you stop feeling fear. It's when you have to, it's once you get to that point where you don't necessarily have to monitor your thoughts anymore because those opposing thoughts aren't coming in. You have to do the work and bring the awareness in for that to happen. It might take time. The deeper this is ingrained in us, it could take a little longer to rewire. But isn't it worth it? Like, isn't it worth it to do that work and to monitor your thoughts and to change your reactions so that you can bring in your desired reality, whatever that may be? And if you want to learn more about how to do this, I have a video I'll post right on the screen here that is all about how the rewiring and the wiring of your brain actually works and how your emotions are attached to them so that you can understand it at a deeper level. I hope you guys found value in this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so we can hang out again next week. I love you guys so much and I will see you then.